How's it going everybody, Goldhat here, and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be entry 7 of my Star Wars Squadrons Achievement Walkthrough Guide, and we are going to be focusing on the 6th campaign mission and getting all of those medals. So once we're at the main menu, let's go ahead and load up our mission. And now after the mission loaded up, let's go through all this dialogue and then we will start our briefing. Hey, there you are. Was looking for you back at the dockyards. Instead, I had to hang out with a bunch of engineers. They told me a whole convoy of new engineers got intercepted by the Empire. No survivors. Sounds like they had someone on the inside at Hosni and Prime. Give them all the details. As you can imagine, everyone at the dockyard is pretty spooked. I got a Pazak game planned for them later, to help boost morale. Gotta do our part, right? Say, between us, something's up. Something bigger than missing engineers. Ardo ain't talking, and the boss has been shut up in the briefing room all day. I feel like he'd tell us if it was just about the lost engineers. Nah, this is something else. My money's on some kind of unfinished business. Like a dark secret he left behind when he skipped out on the Empire. Or not. <laughs> what would I know, huh? Whatever it is, it's gotta be something he can't fix with a giant battleship. Why don't you head up to the briefing room? The boss might open up to you. You're right, Lyndon. My contacts verified your suspicions. It's her. I knew it could only be Teresa Carroll. Her mark is all over these attacks. We know her style. You do realize there's only one reason she would attack Hosni and Prime in the engineering convoy. She's searching for Project Starhawk. That's why I've already taken steps to stop her. Before she can find the Nadiri dockyards. Before anyone else gets hurt. Lyndon, what have you done? Relax, Ardo. All I did was send Teresa a message. One she can't ignore. An old protege of mine, Teresa Carroll, is leading the Empire's search for Project Starhawk. She won't stop until it's destroyed. So I've initiated a plan. I sent a message that we know was intercepted by an Imperial listening post hidden near Esselus. What was the message? Wait for Teresa. And now that the Imperial post has served its purpose, we're ready for part two. If we destroy that listening post, Teresa will think we have something to hide and follow that message to the letter. Vanguard, I want you to take Y-Wings with heavy ordnance to that post in Esselus and bomb it to oblivion. A corvette will join you to draw Imperial fire. Gunny will support and resupply our bombers. These are your targets. We've identified the receivers along the hull as weaker areas. Destroy them all. Additionally, destroy the thermal regulation systems along the exterior trench and any dishes atop the listening post. If you pull this off, we'll rob the Empire of a valuable asset, and then Teresa will fall right into our trap. Teresa Carroll was my second in command at Fostar Haven. She was my protege. She's gone from a Coruscant street orphan to captaining her own Star Destroyer. The Empire gave her everything, and she'll do anything to defend it. That's why I'm keeping certain details quiet. With Teresa in the game, any leak is a risk. Just trust me a little longer. Head to the hangar. Zarelda should have your ship almost ready. I have to say, the Commander's plan is quite clever. 
All this secrecy and subterfuge, it's almost imperial. I know the New Republic strives to be better than the Empire, but you must admit their tactics are effective. Not that we should adopt them, of course, but this is war. Sometimes you have to think like your enemy in order to defeat them. We're lucky the Commander is using his tactical brilliance for our side. Let's focus on the mission. When James talks about Carol, you can feel it, right? He must have cared about her greatly to feel such pain. I don't think it's a coincidence that the Empire sent Teresa after Javes. This feels personal. They must both be hurting. And hurt can so easily turn to hate. Hate that cannot be healed has no place in the galaxy. If fighting it has become the only option, so be it. Are you ready? And now after the dialogue is done, we can go into the cockpit and this is where we are able to adjust any of the settings that we want. I'm not going to adjust anything. Everything right now is okay for this mission. So we are just going to go ahead and launch off. Why wings are built to carry bombs and other heavy explosives. Dropping on New Republic comms. Do you think Teresa Carroll overheard everything? She only cares about finding our Starhawk, Frisk. Oh, sure, sure. Still, better bomb this listening post into oblivion, right? For the safety of our new battleship, and for no other reason. Temperance is. So for the medals in this mission, we need to protect the Corvette, we need to destroy the satellites, we need to do this within 11 minutes, and then we need to do this without dying like usual. But for the Corvette in this run, I'm not going to be doing that. You should do that in your first run. Just pull out and start protecting the Corvette. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is just tail him and destroy all the TIE fighters right behind him. And for the satellites, you can do that every time it helps not bring in reinforcements that are going to hit you. So you can just hit those satellites. I'm going to point that out. But overall, this is pretty easy if you just avoid the Corvette and that way you can get this done within 11 minutes. It kind of hurts your timing because the spawning of the ties take a little bit. So this way you can get that metal. So you probably already know this, but I want to throw this in here just in case. If you press right on the D-pad, that's going to charge up our shields. And if you charge up your shield and just turn it off, the shield will stay. And that way you can have your shield. It will decrease very slowly, but not enough to really matter. But this will help all the incoming damage that you're going to take. So as you can see here, I'm switching off the shield after it charged up and I'm going to go blue so we can go to our boost real quick because I'm just going to get this done super quick for the 11 minutes, but boosting around is really going to help the time. Receivers. Enemies locked on. Get the broadcast. 
the system running. We need to call reinforcements. Uh oh, quick, take down those dishes before they can make that distress call. Squadron, target the dishes on top of the station. Empire can't call so after we get this last bomb off, I just flip around here, I stand still, and we're just going to work on all these satellites, and then we're going to regroup. And now for the last part of the mission, we want to come in through this vent, and I like to keep it on blue so we have our full thrust on, and it's just going to charge up while we make our way through. We're just going to drop a couple bombs, and we can go out through another vent, and that's going to help since you don't have to turn around. So we're just going to blast these, we're going to start dropping bombs, and then we're just going to go through this side of the vent, and we're able to do our full boost, and that's going to get us out just in time. Step. 
So overall, this mission is pretty decent. The only thing I have to say is just do your two playthroughs. The first one, make sure you worry about the Corvette to get that medal. And then in the second one, worry about your timing because that Corvette is really going to suck up all your time. So once again, here are all our medals. And that is going to conclude entry seven. As always, I hope this walkthrough guide has been super helpful. If it has been, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any questions at any time, you can drop a comment down below or you can hit me up personally on my Instagram and I will see you guys next time. Goldat, signing off.